How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. Hey, I want to say if this is your first time here, if you like videos about small farming, tractors and implements, heavy equipment, things like that, consider subscribing. We've got tons of videos like that. We think you'd enjoy it. I want to give you an update on the 1954 Oliver that we've been working on because I've got some things I need to tell you about that. So come along. Let's go. Before I give you an update on the Oliver, I want to show you the new piece of equipment we got for Brutus the Branson, right? This is the new Speedco Quick Hitch we got. Now, there's some reasons why I got this particular Quick Hitch. Number one, it's because it's got really, really nice handles, right? These handles are, are high quality, nice rubber grips on them. Number two is it kind of matches the Branson, right? It's not quite Branson red, but it's close enough. It's better than black. And number three is the actual hooks here. This Speedco is a Cat 1 Quick Hitch. So what that means is you don't need a bushing on the actual implement that you're going to be pulling with it, unlike some of the other quick hitches that you'll find. I got this quick hitch from my buddy Courtney over at Good Works Tractors. So go to his website, goodworkstractors.com. Check out the stuff that he has over there. Tell him Hamiltonville Farm sent you. He's got a lot of cool stuff that you can use for your tractor, especially Christmas time, right? This video is coming out around Christmas time. You need to buy stuff. You need look. Is that a hint? Listen, tell your wives, <laughs> tell your wives to buy you a quick hitch for Christmas off GoodWorksTractors.com. <laughs> All right, so let's put this quick hitch on to Brutus. Let's put this puppy on, see how she looks. I'm telling you, if you don't have a hydraulic top link, I've been preaching about them in the last four or five videos, man. I love that thing. This is lighter than my other one. I mean, I ain't saying it's super light, but it's probably 15 pounds lighter. All right, here comes the awkward part, right? Trying to line this thing up with one leg. That was easy. Yeah, easy enough, right? Now we'll just put the top of it on it. Easy enough. And there you have it. I've got me a red quick hitch, huh? How cool is that? And like I said, the reason, one of the reasons why I like this a lot is because of this gap right here. You don't, it doesn't require bushings. So I like that. Hey, I wanted to show you guys something right quick. Check out this new Hobart Handler 210 MVP that I got. I bought this from a pawn shop for $600, right? These things are about $1,000 new. This one has the ability to do gas. It's 110, 210. You can do aluminum with it. It's, it looks brand new. Yeah, it's brand new. I don't think, I don't think, maybe it was a display model. I don't know, but it's brand new. So I've got to run to Tractor Supply and I'll, they sell little small bottles of the uh, Argon CO2 mix. So I'm gonna pick it up there. Came with a regulator, $600 at a pawn shop. Man, I, I snatched that thing up. You didn't, I didn't tell you how much I paid for that. Did Christmas came early, I guess. <laughs> but look, you can tell. I don't think it's... Look at the tip of it here. Does that mean I get to spend $600 right. in the flower garden? That's right. That's right. <laughs> but it's a, it doesn't even look like it's been used. I don't, I don't think it's been used. But we've turned it on at the pawn shop, and it was it, it ran good. It, it you know powered up. It cycled up and all that good stuff. It fed the wire through it. So I'm pretty sure it's going to work great. I don't know. Maybe there's a... Uh, there, there was a pallet of welders missing out of a truck somewhere. And... Oh, don't say that. <laughs> so, so if you got any police officers watching this, I'm sure it's not stolen, right? <laughs> Six hundred dollars nah. at a pawn shop. Nah. Yeah. So okay, all right. So let's go to Tractor Supply. Let's get a bottle of gas for it because I got some welding I need to do in the future. Well, I come over here to Tractor Supply because the lady on the phone told me that they sold those gas bottles. 
<laughs> and I got here at this tractor supply here. I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, I got here and the lady took me back to the propane butane bottles. <laughs> so I was like, no, ma'am, that's not what I need. <laughs> I did get some uh, some some wire though, some zero thirty mig mig wire. <laughs> so now I guess I got to go to a different town or something to pick up some gas for the welder. But when I get the gas, I'll have the wire to do the welding with. So I guess that's a uh, all is not lost. I guess, but tractor supply. If you're watching this, train your employees not to uh, answer questions that they don't know the answers to. All right. Well, we left tractor supply, and now we're coming down here to air gas. And these guys have it here i bought a three foot tall bottle and i had to buy it cost me a little bit more because i had to buy the bottle but next time the refill will be pretty cheap the refill is like 55 bucks but golly this gas will last me 10 years probably as much as i will hey look i just throw it back here in the back seat <laughs> that'll last me a long time i think well, I got that bottle and I got to thinking, you know, I've got a welding helmet, but it doesn't have the auto darkening shield. So I went to Harbor Freight and picked up this Chicago electric welding helmet with the auto darkening. It had a coupon, like a 25% off holiday family and friend coupon. I think I ended up getting $40 for it. Anyway, all right, back to the house. Let's talk about the Oliver just for a second. This rear tire here, this is the one that had that bad valve stem on it in that last video. It's still holding air. So evidently I parked it just right <laughs> to hold the air in it. You know, you can, maybe I pinched a hole or something. So, cause it's actually still holding the air, but I'm gonna have to get new tubes put in both sides actually. So we'll get new tubes put on it and that will be good. But let me tell you about what I've discovered while the engine was running, once we had it fired up and kind of drove it around a little bit. A couple things we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to get a new exhaust built this thing yeah it was really loud <laughs> well not only was it loud it was smoking you know it's coming so this this connection here between the exhaust manifold and the exhaust pipe is that's pretty much non-existent right i'm going to have to get new gas cap and a new radiator cap but i was very pleasantly surprised that the radiator didn't leak but what did leak is let me show you down here at the bottom let's see if we can zoom in on this a little bit but the water pump is leaking now what you see in here is condensation from the temperature outside and all that good stuff. So that's not the leaking that I worry about. But while it was running, it actually leaked underneath the water pump. So I'm gonna turn it on just for a second, let it run, and then we'll see how it drips underneath the water pump here on the Oliver. I'm gonna put this old snake gator underneath it. <laughs> see, uh, cause I can't find any, any other appropriate type of things to catch the water with. Any other appropriate type of material to this thing is so cool. Let me make sure it's in neutral so it don't run over my leg. That thing fires right up, don't it? All right, you can see there's already a little drop of water on it. So it appears to be leaking out of the water pump. Oh yeah, you can see it dripping. Can you see it dripping? Like see that dripping? I right here where my finger's at. Hopefully that shows up on camera, but it's dripping right there. But that should be a simple replacement. And then I cannot wait to paint it. That is going to be fun. You going to film me painting it? Of course. Yeah, of course. That thing fires right up, don't it? <laughs> it's yep. pretty awesome. Yeah, so I think the water pump will be... You could probably find them. There are probably a dime a dozen out there somewhere. Probably other water pumps fit it. Maybe an 8 in or a 9 in water pump will fit it. So, the, I mean, two or three bolts and three, three, maybe four bolts and it comes right off. Easy cheesy. These things are so easy to work on. And they're so cool. Yeah, I can't neat. wait. Hey, I just wanted to take you guys around to see what I do kind of on a daily basis. Every now and again, I do these vlog style videos. Just give you a glimpse of what we do here at Hamiltonville Farm. So, hey, I hope you enjoyed it. As always, 
this little white circle right here. You click on that to subscribe. Underneath it is a playlist of the Branson tractors that we use here at Hamiltonville Farm. You guys take care. God bless you guys.